Hi, my name is Mamie Stacy, and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to make a logo in Microsoft Publisher. So I'm going to start with inserting a picture on my page. And I downloaded this picture from pixabay.com. Okay, I have my picture on my page. Let's resize it. Okay, let me tell you a little about Pixabay. The images on Pixabay are free. They're high quality images. And one of the great things about this site is uh, you don't have to, have to leave an attribution, meaning you don't have to credit the uh, website nor the photographer for using uh, their pictures. So that's a good thing. And let me let you look at some of the pictures that you'll be able to use on this site. As I explained, the quality is very high as you can see. Very clear, beautiful pictures. So they are free. Uh, you could use them commercially for your private use on your blogs, any of your projects. So basically it's a great site to go to uh, to get your pictures. So let's get back to the project. I'm going to move my picture over just a little. Okay, what I'm going to do next is create a text box so that I can put the name of the company in it. Okay, and the font that I want to use is Baskerville. I want the font size to be 45. I'm going to make it bold. I'm gonna I'm going to center it. And what I want to do now is I want I want to um I want to um, make my font the same color as this face. So I'm gonna choose more colors. I need to eyeball this and right now I can see right away I think this color here matches the face so that's what I'm going to choose. Click OK. Now I want to type in the company's name Lena's Floral Shop dot com. I want to change the shade on my on my font so I'm going to go with fill effects I'm going to choose this shade 90 percent okay I have that in next what I need to do I would like to put a banner underneath the name of the company. Okay, I want to make an adjustment, bring it down. I want to make a copy of that banner. But I want to reduce the size. Okay, next I want 
to make the large the larger banner the same color as the font I need to remove the lines I want to I want to give it a fill effect but I want to use the tool gradient and I want my two colors to be blue and white I'm going to use this variant I'm going to click OK next I'm going to I'm going to use gold for the smaller banner remove the lines I'm going to bring the company's name down and I want to change the spacing to 18 okay next I want to insert another picture this picture also came from Pixabay okay I think that looks pretty good now what I need to do the images are not a, are not grouped together so we can upload this image to our website unless until we group the objects together so I'm gonna hold down the left button on my mouse I'm gonna surround my image with this with this, these broken lines let it go and I don't think that one was right so let's try this again okay I'm gonna use the select objects tool hold down the left mouse surround the object let it go okay click on group objects now I should be able to move this and everything moves together and it does so that's working now what I need to do is save the picture I'm going to delete these two. Okay. I need to save the picture and then move over to Pixlr. save it as a JPEG okay now that I have that saved what I want to do now is go over to Pixlr I want to, I want to open the p image from my computer Okay, now that we have it, what I need to do now is use the wand tool so that I can make my image transparent. So I'm going to click on the image, and it, as you can see, I have these scrolling like type of broken lines going on here. So what I need to do now, and from experience, I have 
these are areas within the E's, the A's, the O, and the P. They're white, so they're, they're not transparent. So I want to hold down the shift key. And I want to click on that area within the E. And I want to do the same here with the A. And I want to do the same with the O. Do it again with this A. With the O. Okay. Undo that. Hold down the shift key, click, shift key, click, shift key, click. What I need to do is go to edit, select invert selection, go back to edit, copy, go back to edit, paste, go over to the right, Double click this lock. And everything looks fine actually. Look like my transparency worked. So right now I'm ready to crop this. So I'm going to use the crop tool. Actually, I want to crop this a little bit more. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to save it to my computer. Video six. I'm going to save it as a PNG transparent. Click OK. File opens up. Click say we're done. What I need to do now, I want to check my image. Make sure it's truly transparent. So I'm going to open up the file, bring it out. And what I would like to do, let's put this on a gray background. So as you can see, I could resize my image to something very small or or large. So it's ready now to be uploaded to my uh to the blog or to uh the website. And I hope this information uh helped you out. If you have any questions you could leave it uh, down in the area below the uh, video. Also, if uh, if you have any comments, you can leave them there too. And I really want to thank you for sharing your time with me. And uh, you have a good day. Bye.